guys and welcome back to the channel i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today so today we are back at the channel with another house tour and this time i am showing you around in my modern mansion so this house we have been building for 14 parts now i, I think 14 parts um this house took i think six months to create that is so long so i did finish off uh, a few of the sections of the house off camera it was just taking way too long um, but i'm very happy to say that yes you can download this from the gallery if you want to just go to my origin love simply sim and you can find it there under i think it's called modern let's build house or something like that but i will be also providing you guys with a link in the description of the video so that you can uh, go to there if you don't want to go in game or you cannot find it just click the link in the description and it will take you to the house and you can put it in your game anyways i'm really excited to show you guys around a little uh, disclaimer or heads up it's gonna be a very lengthy video i presume because this house is massive we have four floors so a basement a first a second and a third floor to go through multiple rooms bedrooms living rooms dining rooms etc so there's a lot of stuff to cover just a little heads up and for the people who are interested in seeing the house in every season i will be changing the seasons at the very end of the video don't know how that is gonna go but if you like to see that, stay tuned to the very, very end or skip to the end, whatever you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, just so that you know that it's coming up as well. So I'm very excited to show you guys around. Let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause the game so that you can really see how everything looks. We are now in summertime, by the way. I set this in as a heat wave because I love heat waves so much. Um, that's my favorite part of summer. So here in the front of the house, we have the mailbox right here. I made this little pathway for your sim. So you really need to walk <laughs> you know, in this little pathway up the stairs to enter the house or you can walk through the garage area right there there is a driveway but i don't recommend so yeah your sims are gonna go up the stairs right here and the first thing that you see is the front door so we're not gonna go through the front door yet i actually want to show you guys the the yard so this is the front yard um i really like how that looks um here we have a pathway leading up to the second front door so the second front door right here, that is the door for employees. So the butler, the maid, the nanny, they all walk through here. And then the main door is for guests, family, and, you know, whatever, friends maybe. <laughs> so going up here, we have a little staircase. And this staircase leads to the first uh, swimming pool that we have right here. So this is the first swimming pool area. A very nice loungy swimming pool with uh, windows in it and what I like about this swimming pool is you can see into the spa okay you see the hot tub right there and then the swimming pool with all the plants if you go in I mean you can see it a little bit better but it's way nicer up from here and then here we have a door that leads into the gym but we are gonna go through that area a little bit later but anyways this is the first swimming pool of the house there's a little shade area made up there really nice love it and now, oh my gosh imagine sitting here <laughs> enjoying this gorgeous view with a cocktail i love it um anyways going downstairs into this area right here we are now in the backyard so the backyard is really gorgeous let me go up Ooh, it's going like really slow, but that's fine. Let me go up a bit like that so that you can really see this little corner. 
I love how this is constructed. I really do. So we have a lap pool right here. So this is for swimming laps only and for diving. I added in a hot tub, which is functional. I did test it out. And there's also a bar right here. So this bar is really special. I love how it looks because we have a fish tank, <laughs> you know, behind it. There are little fish in it. Really a gorgeous bar. Definitely great for intent to entertaining guests or just for personal use. Whatever you want. And then I also added in a little pond right here. So this is the pond area. I don't think you can swim in it because the foundation is too high. Uh, but it's not meant for swimming anyways. This is just the pond. And then I also made a little uh, skylight here. Or what is it called? Not a skylight. But it's a little room with windows so that we have natural light going into the basement. I love making those little areas. Um, anyways, going through here, we're crossing the bridge. I mean, I, I did set it up as a, as a bridge. So this is a bridge. And we enter the uh, jungle adventure themed area. So this area right here, we are going to go through that section a little bit later. But this is the area where uh, you can either sit in winter time, drink a cup of coffee in the morning uh, or in fall, you know, when it's a little bit chilly out. Or you can entertain guests because there is a large bar. Ooh, Barbie, what are you doing? <laughs> There's a large bar right here. So this is my version of Barbie. I created her as a real estate agent. So she, she goes through all the houses. <laughs> um, and she's just practicing her mixology skill right here. But anyways, this is the bar. This looks really nice. This is just... This is, I think, one of my favorite rooms. One. I mean, there are multiple. But this is, I think, the favorite. Anyways, going back through this door. Into the backyard. Um, again, a little fountain area. We have the children's play area. I decided to go with not the traditional jungle gym and uh, how do you call it? Uh, sandbox that I usually do. I went with more of a free form. Let me go up so that you can really see it. Whoa, that's too high, Mona. So I added in a basketball court right here. I mean, every mansion needs a basketball court, in my opinion. And then I also added in these uh, lights, which I think is gorgeous. Those are from the toddler stuff pack. I added in the swings from the Seasons Adventure, Adventure pack, <laughs> Expansion Pack because I really like these. Um, you can use it as a child, a teen, a adult, which I is which I think is just a really large plus above of the jungle gym. Um, there's a toddler slide right here, and of course a kiddie pool because toddlers need to swim as well. But now the girl, the 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 child, how is it? I don't know her name anymore, but that is Barbie's daughter. She's lounging in the pool, <laughs> and then here a nice romantic seating area for when you know mommy needs to watch the toddlers she can do it right there um anyways going through here there's another pathway lots and lots of fountains here as well <laughs> i really liked placing all these fountains and then here we have a little seating area so this seating area right here this is attached to the office daddy's uh recording studio um, i added in a fire pit because that was suggested by one of you guys and i thought yes that is an awesome idea i loved to implement it and i think it's really nice especially in winter time time and fall when it's a little bit colder out you can light it up and your sims can warm them by the fire so yeah that is basically it that is the entire backyard let me show you guys you know let's go through it like so so this is the backyard i really like how this looks and especially this this lighting it's gorgeous right now what time is it it's now 11 30 a.m in sims time and you can see, really can see the light hit the backyard right now. So that is looking gorgeous. So let's go through here. Now you can see the side of the swimming pool. And now the front of the house. So here on the side of the house, by the way, a little note. If you are searching for the garbage bins outside, I included them here. 
um, just in the side area because I didn't like how it looked. You know, that bin just there, it looked so weird. So I thought let's enfance it a little bit, add in a little roof so that you don't really see it from the exterior point of view. And for me, that is actually really nice. Okay, so that is the exterior of the house, the garden and the backyard. And let me just hop right into the first floor now. Okay guys, we are now at the front door of the house. So this is the door that family, guest, friends will use. I, I did set this as the main door, the front door. So going through this door, uh, the first thing that you see, so let's go through it, <laughs> is these double arches. I really like how this looks. So there are arches here at the front and at the back. So you can see all the way back into the garden. I really like that. So this area I did furnish off camera. I added in a little side table, a umbrella stand, really, really handy when it's raining. Uh, also added in a little chair and an area where you can hang up your coat. So here's a door. And in this door we have the guest bathroom. So this is a bathroom only with a toilet and the sink. I didn't add in a shower because I don't imagine guests showering in your house. I mean, in real life. In real life, if I have guests over, usually they just come and chill and maybe pee. They never shower unless they maybe go, we have like a barbecue with a swimming pool outside, uh, an inflatable swimming pool, by the way, I don't have a real one. <laughs> um, then yeah, they, they probably use my, my shower. But other than that, nope, they won't. So anyways, going back here, back in the hallway, uh, we have another door right here. And this door leads into the garage. So the garage I kept really basic and simple. I really didn't know what I wanted to do here. I mean, it's a garage. We don't have a garage stuff pack. <laughs> so I just went with, you know, some, uh, how do you call these? It's like homework assignments, school projects right there, a fire extinguisher, you know, a sink, because maybe you have dirty hands from working with the woodworking table. I also scaled up a toy car. I absolutely know this looks crap. I mean, look at the pixels. It's awful, but that is all we have in the game right now. So I just scaled that up. And then this is the woodworking table. So I imagine the woodworking table, it's not really something that anyone in the family would use, but I think the butler would enjoy you know, working on the woodworking table in his free time. Uh, or maybe the son is going to experiment on the woodworking table. Maybe he needs to do that for his llama scouts or something like that. Um, but I just found it really handy to have one in the house because you never know if you need one. Anyways, going through here. This corridor we are going to do a little bit later. Let's do this one first. So this is the grand hallway this is the grand hallway this seating area is just for decorational purposes the family doesn't really use it whoa going through the wall <laughs> but it's nice to have uh, maybe with parties people would use it so here we have the inform no, no, uh, no mona this is the formal living room so this is the living room where we are gonna entertain guests that is also the reason why we have a bubble blower for you know relaxing and such i mean my sims aren't shy in using the bubble blower that is something that they like to do so you can sit here people can use the bubble blower probably gonna hire a pianist or maybe one of the children can play because they are all very musical so uh, maybe they will play the piano for grandma who is visiting um anyways going through here whoops what am i doing <laughs> going through here you know passing the piano we head into the library slash music room so this is a library and music room i love the ceiling high 
uh, bookcases and then the mirrors in the middle it gives this really a luxurious feel um, there is every instrument that you need there is a keyboard there's a violin there's a guitar I mean what else do you need are there any more instruments maybe an electric guitar but we have that in the recording studio so also added in a little seating area with a world globe very important and then here I added in a uh, a balcony or a porch and I didn't know what to do here so I thought let's just do a bar a bar is something that we all need we need multiple bars in our in our houses <laughs> in I mean in our sims houses so that is awesome oops what am I doing so sorry <laughs> um, anyways going through here so that was the bar area we enter the office so this is daddy's office and this is his recording studio this is where he does all the recording of his own music but also music that he co collaborates with celebrities and other music producers so we have a little seating area right here that's his desk for you know working and editing this is his desk for recording he has multiple monitors and computers and this is the actual recording studio right here so I added in windows so that you can see in and then of course this solid door so there's a little area here for sound reasons and then here you can enter the recording studio so I added in a microphone uh, various uh, instruments so that you can play there's a camera so that you can record footage of your sims playing although you can pretend because that's just decorational but you know and then the television is for lyrics so if your sim ever forgets his lyrics he just needs to watch the television and pop there are the lyrics so yeah that is basically the f the right side of the first floor and let me show you guys the other side next. Okay, we are now at the second entryway of the house. This is the, uh, the door that I imagine the butler and the maid using and maybe the nanny as well. And probably some very close friends who have the key of the house who want to use the gym because there is a staircase here leading up to the gym. Um, so this is the hallway. Um, there is a staircase leading into the basement area. I also added in these coat hangers or, you know, this area for you to hang up your coat, put up, put your shoes and such. So this is the first room that you guys are going to see in this hallway. And this is the bathroom. So this bathroom is really luxurious and I really like that you can look in the swimming pool. But anyways, this bathroom is mainly for you know the family and guests who use the gym and the swimming pool they can take a shower here they can pee you know they can do whatever they want in this bathroom uh, but that is the main purpose of that bathroom and then going through here we have a staircase leading up to the gym so the gym is uh i i kept it simple I didn't want to go overboard in the gym, but I still wanted to give it this very luxurious feeling. So I did implement lots of items of the new, not new, it's not new anymore, but from the fitness stuff pack. I actually implement lots of items from every pack. <laughs> just a little heads up if you want to download this house, you need a lot of packs, just, just so you know. Anyways, going back here, whoops, going through the, to the, whatever that is I went through it anyways uh, going back here we enter the hallway so I call this the butler's corridor and the reason why is we have the butler's bedroom right here so for the butler's bedroom I really tried to give him everything his heart's desire so this very luxurious feel with a bookcase there's a television a really nice comfy bed a dresser and his own private bathroom and I did that because the butler is a person that does all the cleaning all the cooking he takes care of the children sometimes and you want to keep your butler happy a a sad butler or a cranky butler can lead into a butler poisoning your family so 
very important if you are a multi-millionaire to have a nice room for your butler just just so you know um anyways this is the his own private bathroom i try to make it as classy as possible um so yeah that is basically the butler's quarters so going back here going into the corridor so this is also the reason why I uh, call this the butler's corridor is we have here this area that probably only the butler, maybe the maid would use. And this is the second kitchen. So the second kitchen is the kitchen where the butler would prepare his own meals, but also the meals for like uh, family gatherings, dinner parties, when we don't hire a caterer. Sometimes we hire a caterer, usually when it's uh, su uh, it's not summer fest, winter fest. Winter fest, we like to hire a caterer because then we need the butler to really clean up after everyone. But like normal family dinners, when we invite over grandma, the butler can cook. <laughs> Oops. Um, anyway, so this is the second kitchen. There is a tea maker, a fridge, coffee machine everything you need and then going back here i added in a laundry room so again the laundry room i kept it simple just a washer and dryer multiple uh, laundry baskets or hampers um, there's also a hand washing top for the delicate uh, items that you don't want to put in your washing machine there's a linen closet and uh, yeah just everything you need to do laundry so that's why I said this is more for the butler and the maid. Don't think this family will do laundry because there are like multi-millionaires, like I said. Uh, anyways, there's another tiny door here. And going through that, it leads you into the jungle adventure party center or, you know, <laughs> entertaining room. So the reason why I added in that little door is I wanted the butler to access this room really quickly you know with meals and such without uh really hindering the guests because if he would use this large door then when they're dancing yes there is a dancing area so this is the large dinner party area lots of seating you know there we have uh, Barbie again <laughs> with the lounge area and then here I added in a dance floor I had this little weird little space right here didn't know what I wanted to do with it I definitely did not want another seating area we have so many seating areas already and then I thought why not make a disco a little dance area for when we are throwing a party, but not with grandma, but more with friends, you know, we have our friends over and we like to party or maybe the teen girl has her friends over for a birthday party and then daddy is gonna uh, hire a headliner DJ and they can all do it right here. So I definitely like this little area. It's a little bit of fun in this crazy mansion. Um, so going through this door, we have another hallway. So this door leads to the butler's area. I do recommend uh, locking these, these certain doors. So this door and the door behind that for the butler only. Uh, so for, for him to only use it. So this is the hallway. Let me turn around so that you can see it. There is a window looking into that area right there. So this is the hallway and it leads back into the main hallway right there. But there's also a door here. And this leads into the indoor cinema. I mean, every mansion, modern or traditional, needs a cinema. There are so many rooms in a mansion that to fill it up, why not have a cinema? <laughs> so yeah, there's a cinema right here. I kept it uh, very dark. There are no actual windows. I know technically, technically, these are windows in a catalog, but there's no light going through them. So they, those are fine. I mean, a little bit of light. Granted, there's a little tiny bit of light. It doesn't hinder me that much. So that is why I made the indoor cinema here. Also added in a bar, a popcorn maker and a bucket with champagne. So yeah, that is basically it. This is the entire first floor. Uh, with an indoor cinema and everything and let me hop right over to the hallway again and I'm gonna show you guys the second floor 
Okay guys, we are now back in the hallway. <laughs> um, this hallway leads to the staircase. So let me turn around. So this is the main staircase leading up into the second floor. So the first thing that you see, of course, is the gym right there. We have a little seating area that I made because, I mean, why not? <laughs> and then here we have uh, the balcony. So this balcony I made especially for the gym. Uh, we have a gym there and I thought why not have a juice bar or no I, I didn't think that that was actually a suggestion by one of you guys <laughs> so this is the juice bar that uh, the family or friends you know who are visiting will use when they are going in between you know sessions maybe they need uh, some protein shakes they can that get them here and they can also sit here and relax in between, you know, sessions, <laughs> workout sessions and look at the gorgeous view of the backyard. I mean, isn't this lovely? So yeah, this is the bar for the gym. I mean, every room needs a designated bar, right? <laughs> um, and then here we have the gym. Let me go back in real quick. And there's another door here that I didn't show you, but this leads into the front balcony. So I kept this balcony really clean and simple, only added in one seating area and the reason why I didn't furnish the front balconies that much is I didn't want you know that that's that it obstructed the look from the front I like my front in the houses houses especially these modern ones a little bit more clean and then the back balconies they can be cluttered uh, with whatever you what you want but for the front I like it clean and simple uh, going back through here I mean, you can see the gorgeous kitchen and living room. This is a very open living space, which I love. I love this kind of concept for me in real life. Open living, I don't think that is manageable with children. Children tend to make everything look messy. And then it's very, very nice that you can just close the door and you don't see the mess anymore. But when you're a multimillionaire, you probably have a maid and a butler to clean up after your children and a nanny of course so here we have a door this leads into the bathroom so i decided to make the bathroom here because we had a little bit of dead space um i also added in a litter box because usually all my families have cats i mean i'm cat obsessed i have five cats myself if it was up to me i would have had like 10 cats i love cats so much but you know, we don't have the space. I live in a very, very tiny house. So five is like the maximum. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the bathroom for the second floor. And this is actually the only bathroom for the second floor. So I did add in a toilet. I didn't forget. And there's also a shower because you never know if you want to shower. So going through here... Uh, I added in this little seating area with the parenthood board, really necessary if you have children, in my opinion. Also the pet feeder and the bin is are right here. And then here we have the kitchen. So I really love this kitchen. This is definitely one of the more different kitchens that I did. I mean, I, th I think I never did this setup with the table and then the kitchen island. I really like that. But my favorite part of the kitchen has to be that you can see through into the dining room uh, through these uh, fish tanks. I really like that little, uh, you know, this little feature right here definitely really nice and then you have your sinks your wash uh washing machine no laundry machine no dishwasher that's what the word is <laughs> and then when you go through here we have the office so this is the office that the children would probably use the most for homework and such and maybe playing and relaxing um and i really love that this is a very open feeling office and that is because whoops this area right here so i actually saw this in an ikea uh, in an Ikea, but also in a... Uh, there was this, this interior designer that I'm following on... I think here on YouTube. And she also made this little section uh, dividing the kitchen and living space. And then I went to Ikea and I saw this in one of the kitchen setups as well. 
So I thought I need to implement it in my house. This is so really nice. So the only thing that I don't like is that the kitchen cabinets are facing inwards. I tried to turn them around. They won't budge. So this is what we have to work with. But you got you get the general idea and I like it. So yeah, this is the office. Anyways, going back through here and let me show you guys. Oh, this outdoor seating area. I almost forgot. <laughs> so this is the outdoor dining area. Uh, the family will use this when it's a little bit better weather outside. They like to sit here and eat breakfast. Um, so going back in, we have the living room. So this is the informal living room downstairs we have the formal one with the bubble blower here this is the informal one with the television um this is where mommy and daddy would sit watch the news watch you know not movies because they have a home cinema but maybe some soap series and such they will do here and i love the color i mean this pink color is life. I love it so much. I have a handbag, multiple handbags in this color. I also have a dress in this color. So this is a color very close to my heart. <laughs> um, and then we also have uh, the fish tank coffee table from the pack that shall not be named. <laughs> the first pet stuff pack, I know. Um... But uh, I mean, I paid for the pack, so why not use it? I mean, it was 10 euros out of my own pocket. So yeah. Anyways, here we have the dining room. So we can dine in the kitchen, but we can also dine here. And I think for special occasions, the family would sit here. Maybe for breakfast uh, on a birthday breakfast thingy. I mean, that is something that we do in the family. When someone has a birthday, I tend to make a very large family breakfast before school and work or if the the, the, the birthday falls in the weekend, um, then it's even more elaborate because then there's champagne and such. <laughs> um, but I like to make a family birthday breakfast in the morning just for us. And then later in the day, we have guests over. So, you know, grandma and grandpa and such like that. But... I like to start up a a birthday like that, you know, very special and intimate. So I imagine they would do that here as well. Maybe also the Valentine's dinner will be held here. I don't know. I like I like the idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the uh, informal living and a little bit of formal, not formal dining. <laughs> and then here we have another seating area. And this is an extent of the living room. So when it's cold out, I think... You will sit inside with your coffee and with your newspaper. But when it's sunny, like it is right now in the game, although it's a heat wave right now, I don't know if you want to sit there. But anyways, um, you can sit here, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your newspaper or just enjoy, you know, your cocktail. <laughs> uh, and then look out in the gorgeous, gorgeous uh, backyard. Anyways, that is the second floor. I think I showed you guys everything and let's hop right over into the third floor. Okay guys, we are now back in the hallway and we're gonna go up to the third floor. But a little heads up, um, recording or filming um, in cinematic view, what I'm doing right now, on the third floor of a house is a little bit wonky and your camera tends to fly everywhere so if this part of the video is a little bit annoying because of the camera angles i apologize in advance <laughs> just so that you know anyways going up to the stairs uh we have this whoopsie there it is <laughs> we have this little landing and the first door that you see is right here so oops almost almost went into the top oh my gosh anyways uh this is the hmm the family bathroom. So this is probably the bathroom that children would use. Uh, there's a bathtub for washing toddlers. There's a, oops, oh my gosh, the shower right around the corner. There's a toilet and there's a sink. Everything that you need. And there's also a curtain for privacy. Um, anyways, going through here, we have the long corridor. So uh, here on the left, we have the master bedroom, two of the children's bedrooms. And here on the right, we have two of the other kids' bedrooms. So let's go to this bedroom first. 
So this bedroom is the teen girl's bedroom. This color combination and profession or, you know, hobby was suggested by one of you guys. So thank you so much. So I love the uh, color of the pink with I think that is turquoise right if I say that correct I love this combination and then with the new whoa the new whoa Mo Mona Mona stop it with the new rock that we've gotten with seasons I mean this looks so luxurious definitely fits for a teen girl or boy there are boys who like this as well um, and then he or she is a beauty guru <laughs> so this is where she does or he all his uh, uh recording so there's oh my gosh can i can i can i get a good angle <sighs> let's do it like that okay so we have a microphone there is a camera of course there's a vanity table so all the recording that the team does they are gonna do it here he or she <laughs> and there's also a large wardrobe you know because if you like to be a beauty guru, usually you are also into fashion as well. I mean, that is just a little hunch that I have. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. But it's still a teen. So there is her bookcase. She still goes to school. And this girl also gets her private balcony with bubble blower. So uh, maybe she and her BFF are going to hang here after school, you know. Bubble blow a little bit, get that inspirational juices flowing for those YouTube videos because sometimes it's hard to come up with new content if you're doing YouTube and you need a bubble blower. I wish I had one. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is the teen girl's bedroom. So going back in the hallway, there's another balcony here. I did not furnish that, but so that you know, there's a balcony. It's accessible. You can place whatever you want there. So this is the boy's bedroom. This is a kid's boy. When I furnished this bedroom, I really was thinking about, uh, you know, Donald Duck and his three nephews, you know, uh, quick, quack and quack in Dutch. And I think who, Huey, Louie and Dewey or something in English. I'm probably saying it wrong, but something like that. Um, I was thinking about them and, uh, you know, they are always in the scouts. They are boy scouts. And I thought, let's make this boy a llama scout. He's like really into following the llama scout handbook. He's like really precise. <laughs> so that is this boy's bedroom. Uh, also love the camouflage bed. It fits in so perfectly. Uh, his little toy car. And then this is his, I mean, I know it looks like a football team kneeling, but that is his llama scout friends. So yeah, and then here are some awards that he has won with Llama Scout um, and then his frog, which he adores so much. And of course, a desk, because that was one of your, your suggestions as well. Someone suggested in the comments that I didn't add in a desk or a dresser in the other kid's bedroom. Fair point. I totally forgot about that. So I added in a desk and a dresser here and I'm also added it in in the other bedroom <laughs> so yeah thank you for reminding me that children need that and of course a laundry hamper here for the laundry oh my gosh there's oh yeah that's right I have active sims on the on the property I forgot about that anyways laundry right there and then also a laundry basket here okay that's empty good <laughs> should probably hire a butler after this uh this recording and clean up the house. Anyways, we have three doors. Let's go into this door first. So this is the door that leads into the toddler bedroom. So again, a fewer suggested the color combination. And I liked it. I like the orange tones with the very soft pink. Definitely suits the bedroom well. So originally I had a bassinet like right there. I did remove it because someone suggested to place the bassinet in the parents' bedroom. And yes, that does make sense. You don't want to have a, a baby and a toddler in the same room. And then when the baby starts crying, your toddler wakes up and then she or he starts crying and it's gonna be an entire mess. So I just deleted the bassinet completely. And if you are gonna have a baby, you can place it in the 
master bedroom if you want. Anyways, that is the tot tot Mona. <laughs> The toddler's bedroom. I'm going here into the rainbow room. I did this on camera as well with you guys. So this is the rainbow girl's uh, bedroom. She wants to be a professional ballerina when she grows up. So that's why she has a large mirror with a ballerina pole, you know, music. So she can do a little bit of practicing right here in between lessons. I also gave her a desk and a dresser. Like I said, I forgot about that, but they are there. <laughs> you can see it. And then this is her bed. And I also added in a puppet theater. So I really like the puppet theater. It's an item that I think isn't used enough in a lot of speed builds uh, that I have watched of multiple videos uh, and multiple simmers. I, I, I see this puppet theater rarely used in Let's Plays as well. Thank God James from The Sim Supply used it like recently in his latest video. Uh, I mean, he placed it like 20 episodes ago, but finally the children are using it and it's so much fun to watch. I like to just watch the puppet show. Usually then I call Sadie and then I just let it play in real time and we, we watch the puppet show and it's so much fun um anyways that is the rainbow room let's go back in this hallway so this is the lounge room for the children we have hemi the hamster right there oh i think he's dead yeah i think he died in my game but that's fine you can buy a new one um and then here we have the arts and crafts area I added in the one from Seasons and also the one from Parenthood. So you can make seasonal crafts or you can just paint. You know, you can do all of that in this little corner. Again, this was a suggestion by a viewer. And thank you so much for that suggestion. <laughs> you guys really made this, this mansion look awesome. Without, without of your help, I think this wasn't... This this wasn't uh, as interesting as it is. So, yeah. Anyways, going in through the master bedroom. Uh, the first thing that you see is the walk-in closet. So, this, this walk-in closet is, is gold. This is something that I would love to have. Although my walk-in closet... The, you know, the large closet won't, won't have doors. I would have open ones, but for in The Sims, we don't have open closets. And I did want this room to be functional. So I decided to go with three closed ones on the left and then two lower ones on the right. And then with, you know, some shirts and shoes so that you can really see that this is a walk-in closet. Uh, anyways, going through the door, we enter the main bedroom area. Of course, a large double bed, a fireplace, a world globe, you know, before mommy and daddy like to do stuff. The world globe is always nice. <laughs> um, and then a bookcase with a nice little seating area right here. And again, I love this color combination. We have this pink... Uh, pink a little bit of yellow going on in the first floor and then here on the second floor we have yellow and green which I love so going through here we enter mommy's personal space and that is the glam room. So this glam room was again suggested by one of you guys. I love making glam rooms. I've made multiple for my Kardashian, Kardashian, <laughs> Kardashian Jenner house building series. If you haven't, if you don't know about that, I, yes, I did recreate Kylie Jenner, Khloe Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, and I think another Jenner. I don't know her name again. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, and Kylie's sister, I forgot her name. Um, anyways, um, yeah, I, they all had glam rooms, so I made one here as well. Um, so this one, one is like really similar. I think this looks a lot like Kylie's one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, with the lights on the side, all white, this definitely resembles more Kylie's glam room, but I like it, a little seating area as well. Anyways, going through here, we have the balcony. Whoa. So this is the balcony area for mom and dad. I added in a easel because mom is artistic in this safe. Uh, also a uh, chest table because there are, there isn't anyone, any chest table in the entire mansion. And I think a chess table is necessary. And I find playing chess with your spouse really romantic. Anyways, going back through here. We have the final room 
and that is the master bedroom. So in the master bedroom, I added in a sauna for the sauna. Woohoo! I mean, you need that in your game. And then here we have a walk-in shower area. Looks really nice, especially with the koi carpers. Yeah, I like it. And then here we have, uh, oh yeah, the bathtub before I forget. I love the painting. It ties in with the, the master bedroom area. So the colors all match. And then here we have the sink. So what I like about this and makes this bed bathroom a little bit different is this vanity area here. Okay, it's not functional. I do know that it's all decorational, but it looks so nice. I like it. So yeah, definitely a nice looking bathroom and of course a clothing hamper, a full one right there. Okay, so that is the entire third floor and the only floor that I need to show you guys is the basement and then we're gonna hop into changing all the seasons. So yeah, let's do that. Okay guys, we are back in the hallway, back in the butlers and maids, you know, the, the personnel entryway. Um, there's the staircase leading up to the gym and let's go down in the basement. So how am I gonna do that? Oh, like that. So the first thing that you see is two doors. So I have a door right here. This actually leads into a bathroom with a litter box. So the reason why I did that is because when you enter this door right here, we have mommy's little place and she is a pet photographer. So she has to have clients in the basements. And of course we need a toilet for your clients because we don't want them peeing on the floor. That's a big no-no. Um, so this is her area where she does her photo editing. And then here she does her normal painting because she's also artistic. She went to, she went to art school. She has learned how to paint. Um, so that is what she does here. And she also likes to occasionally do some graffiti. I mean, she is a person who does everything. Uh, and then going through here, I really like this area right here, by the way, you can, you can see inside the studio. I mean, with, with, uh, oh my gosh, how you call it again? Windows with the windows. And then this is a really colorful pet studio, but with pets, I think color, I don't think black, white, and gray. I think really fun colors. These are some paintings or some pictures that she made of uh, some of the pets, uh, a little seating area for owners to wait when she's done. And then of course, a little area for the pets so that they can eat and lay down in between sessions. And of course the, the photographer's thingy you know, thingy me bob <laughs> that you need for making pictures. So yeah. Um, anyways, that is uh, mommy's area. Let's go back in the hallway. Let's go back through here. And now we are in uh, the main hallway of the basement. So I decided to go and make it really simple. I only added in a fountain of a really cute little elephant. And then when you go through here, you enter the personal spa. I mean, a mansion needs a spa, in my opinion. So in this area, you can take uh, or you can get a massage, you can get a pedi and mani, you know, pedicure, manicure right here in these chairs. Um, and I really like the jungle adventure theme. I think it looks awesome. Um, I love the flooring in combination with, you know, the, the wallpaper. It goes so well. It's because probably it comes from one pack. <laughs> um, yeah, but it looks really nice. Anyways, going through here, we have, of course, a bar. So this is more of a juice bar like we have at the spa of at the gym. Although you can get some alcoholic beverages if you want but you know mainly juices um and then here we have uh, the changing rooms bathrooms and showers let me show you guys so yeah we have uh two uh lockers right there there's a shower here and then a toilet and then next door is for male so this is the female bathroom this is the male bathroom and this is just a uh a mirrored image of the room next door. So yeah, 
Anyways, going back here and then going back through here, we have, of course, a sauna for the family. I mean, mommy and daddy have their personal own woohoo sauna, but this is more for the teen girl, you know, for the children, for the guests. When grandma is visiting, they will use the sauna right here. And the nice thing is you can look into this area right there, which I think is awesome. So going back through here, we have... Uh, the spa i mean look at that <laughs> look at those little fountains going i really really like how this looks um i don't imagine them using this swimming pool for laps i think this is more for lounging relaxing using the hot top and being zen with uh, the jungle because this is jungle teams and those big black holes right there those are the dance floors upstairs that are looking into the spa area so that is right here okay so that is the entire basement area um let's hop back into uh into upstairs and we're gonna show you guys over here i am gonna show you guys all the seasons uh, and how it looks with this house Okay, guys, we are now at the backyard. I have uh, Victor. Yeah, it's, his name is Victor coming here. And we're going to change seasons. So as you guys can see, this is how it looks in summertime. Whilst there is a heat wave going on. So let's advance the season into fall. Because after summer, there's fall, of course. And let's change the weather into Oh, it's already clear skies. Okay, so that's great. Um, so yeah, let's let's see how Victor does it. I mean, I did give him handiness skill number 10 or level 10. So he would be fine, I think. <laughs> um, and then, oh my gosh, baby girl, you need to go inside right now before, you know, you, you're gonna die or something. <laughs> so yeah, she's gonna go in. So, ooh, yeah, he's feeling it. Yes, so he's changing the weather, he's changing the season, success, we are now heading into fall. So should I change the weather? I mean, a heat wave in, in fall, isn't that... Uh, change current weather, maybe just make it hot, normal hot. I mean, oh no, 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 not hot, let's make it cold, I mean, it's fall, change current weather cold we're gonna do go for cold and as you guys can see it's fall right now the leaves are turning the grass is turning this this you know this brownish color i really like it um and then oh yeah the leaves the leaves are falling as well and it's raining <laughs> i didn't set for rain but here you go this is how it looks when it's fall and it's raining <laughs> Maybe, maybe stop raining, though. Okay, so he's making it cold. Yeah, so the weather has changed. It's cold. And, uh, yeah, this is how the house looks when it's fall time. I think it is gorgeous. Really nice. Okay, so that is fall. Let's change now into winter. So advance season, advance to winter, and then change weather to snow, and change weather to clear skies. I mean, I think that is like the ultimate combination for a awesome, you know, uh, snowy, snowy situation. <laughs> and then change his outfit probably into his cold weather one i don't want him to freeze to that okay so now he's working on that um can you like hurry up a little bit okay so yes we are now winter and now let's advance to snow oh my gosh you can see all the leaves are gone it is snowing right now so yeah definitely oh where did the snow go? Snow. Can I get the snow back, please? Yeah, so we have clear skies and snow. That is the best combination, in my opinion. I mean, 
let's fast forward. Ooh, he's like really angry. Why are you angry? Oh, he's hot headed. That's right. I made him hot headed. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's fast forward so that we have a full coverage of snow. I mean, that looks great. Okay, I think we're there. I think we are in full snow mode. Looks really nice. Uh, and then change the weather. Let's do... Uh, no, let's keep it like this. I, I like I like the snow falling. So yeah, this is winter time. This is when it how it looks when it's snowing. Let's pause a little bit. I like the little flakes. I really do. Okay, so let's change this current weather into clear skies, and let's have you know let's have her make uh, a snow angel, and mommy can make a snow pal. Let's build, let's spill the snow pal right here. Oh, doesn't she look cute? <laughs> Mommy, you're fine. I know you're a little bit dazed. <laughs> oh my gosh, and look at this. This is awesome, I really like it. Um, and then here on the, the fence as well, you have snow. So they really implemented snow very well. And I like that this is like, you know, the entryway right here. That the snow isn't that deep, that you can see the grass a little bit. Because this is actually undercover. So I also like that little detail. So this is, yeah, this is winter. Let's change to clear skies. And then let's change the weather into spring. Because we haven't seen spring yet. Oh no, not you. Sorry, wrong sim change you into spring and you can continue your snow pal oh she's too dazed <laughs> she's like really dazed that's fine um you know go swing and you can go swing as well let's go swinging um so yeah daddy's changing it now into spring and oh my god okay so Ooh, that looks really beautiful. Okay, so we are spring right now. And now you can really see... You can see the snow melting. I love that it goes very, very gradually. Looks really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, the snow pal is still there. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think the snow pal is glitched. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. He's melting anyway. So, yeah, this is how the house looks in spring. Granted, we are losing sunlight, so you don't really see it. But, yeah, you see the, the flowers are coming back. Uh, the leaves are coming back. Um, we're not there yet. Uh, it's not fully in bloom yet. But this is the house in spring. And look at this gorgeous lighting. I mean, this lighting is everything. I love it. Um, anyways, that is the entire house uh, in all the seasons. I do have to say my current one, uh, my favorite one is winter with the snow. Uh, I like that one the most, so I'm going to change it back. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you all enjoyed this little house tour that I gave you guys of the modern mansion that ha we have been working on so, so long. I will link the video playlist if you haven't seen all the let's build parts and you are interested in how this house came together it will be up here in the screen so for the people who are watching me for the first time and you are liking what you're seeing don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, so that you would never ever miss a video of mine so yeah that is basically it you guys oh my gosh <laughs> he's changing it into snow um anyways that is it you guys i'm hoping that you all enjoyed the house tour don't forget to leave your likes of course if you liked it and uh, yeah that is basically it i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day wherever you are and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye bye <laughs>